When you're looking at beauty standards on somebody who is more attractive than the everyday person, this is unrealistic because... channel and I hope you have the best week ever. I wanted to thank you all as always for the comments, the likes, the basically support on Instagram, on Twitter. I love you all so much and I know we're still a small community but your engagement really means a lot to me. If I haven't gone back to your comment yet, I will be taking some time to go through all the comments and make sure that I properly address your questions, your concerns, and your super nice comments. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button because on this channel we talk about all things femininity, we talk about homemaking, and once in a while I like to talk about some controversial topics that might not be so popular on the internet nowadays. Today is a light-hearted video since the last one was one of those controversial videos. If you're interested in it, I will link it above here. I'm going to give you some tips on how you can look more put together, how you can look more refined. You can also think of this term as how you can look more polished, how you can look more ladylike, how you can look more classy. As a former Mr. Canada and model myself, I have learned some things over the years, but of course you don't have to be a model and you don't have to be a former pageant contestant in order to learn these things. These are things that women, I believe, we really should share with each other to try to encourage each other to be more confident women. I firmly believe that when you are more confident, you feel more feminine. This does not mean that the superficial things make you more feminine. I think that femininity is something that has to do more with the deep inner work inside of yourself. However, working on your outer self can also help you feel more confident in your body and therefore it's kind of like a simultaneous process that is like a little cheerleader that helps you become more feminine. A lot of these things you might already know, but they serve as reminders. So number one is I want you to try to match your accessories to something in your outfit. Match your bag to perhaps your pants or your shoes, match your earrings to your top. Some of you noticed in my previous video that I did that. I actually matched it to my lipstick. That's another thing that you can do. You can match it to your lipstick. But it's going to create some sort of cohesive look in your outfit, which is going to help you look more refined because you're going to look more put together. The second one is one of those things that you've probably been told by your mothers, and it is to take care of your clothes. So this includes ironing your clothes, steaming your clothes, getting rid of the lint on your clothes. That means in terms of the pilling on your clothes, but also like if you have dogs, etc. And I also recommend that you learn how to sew or you get a tailor. It doesn't look put together to have pants that are too long or you have minor holes on your garments. You might not think that it is a big deal, but when you have some holes on your garments, even if you think you're the only one who sees it, you never know if somebody else is going to notice it. I'm also a big supporter of not really indulging in the overconsumption of fast fashion industry. I believe that any income level should kind of wear what they already have or if you feel comfortable enough, you can go to consignment stores as well as thrift stores. This is not a social class thing. This is kind of like an ethical and I guess environmental thing to do to preserve what you already have. It also helps you feel much more grateful and I've already talked about gratitude so much on my channel, but when you feel more grateful for what you have, you tend to be a happier person and when you are a happier person, it's easier for you to exude your femininity. So I'm kind of chunking it in terms of clothing at first. And the next thing I want to encourage you to do, if you don't know where to start, is to adopt a more classic feminine style. In one of my first videos, I will link it above, I talked about the fact that I adopt more of an 80% classic feminine style. The reason why, if you're starting from the bottom, I guess, in terms of you are learning all these things, adopting a classic feminine style is very easy to do because it's centered around solids. It's centered around small, not really noticeable prints. It's centered around colors that match 
silhouettes that will complement your feminine figure and these items are going to be easy to pick up in the store. It also helps you look more refined because like I said it's the kind of the easiest way to get dressed so when you dress in a classic feminine style you're going to have more tendency to open your closet and pick items that go together. It's going to be easier, it's going to look more refined because you're going to be put together on kind of an everyday basis. And to finish the block of, in terms of your outfits, I would encourage you to go for classic accessories as well. Structured bags, try to stay away from slouchy types of bags. Try to incorporate kind of any accessory that is timeless. For example, pearl earrings, um, small dainty bracelets. Those kinds of things are going to help you look more refined and that doesn't mean that you can't incorporate a larger set of earrings for example once in a while but start with simplistic classic accessories and then you can build from there. Actually, I was lying. There is one more point I just checked on my phone that I want to encourage you to do. So, my mother had a lot of training in terms of etiquette. She went to those modeling schools that women were offered home economics. She went to a very private school. I'm trying to paint you a picture of the kind of like classic training that she has had. So I was surprised when I went into university, my mother told me, now it's time, Cynthia, that you wear high heels. Because when I was 17 years old, I thought high heels were really just three inches above. But what she actually meant was incorporating a heel in all types of footwear, except for running shoes, of course, into your wardrobe that's going to help you look more refined. I like to think about it like teacher shoes. Anything you think that a teacher would wear, not in terms of like ugly teacher shoes, anything that a teacher would wear that you could wear all day and be comfortable in walking around, usually with a small, smaller heel, it could be a block heel for example, is going to give you more of that refined look. Imagine wearing jeans and a little type of block heel. That's going to help you look more put together. It's instantly going to dress up your jeans. Same with your boots. Try to get a little bit of a heel in. I made a video about winter feminine style, so I'm going to mention that there are exceptions for everything. Of course, if you're going outside, don't wear heels. Wear proper, appropriate footwear to do outdoor activities. But when you're walking in the city, when you're just simply going to, I don't know, the store or an appointment or for lunch or even for work, I know most of you work outside of the home, incorporating a small heel, even on your flats, is some way to make you look a little bit more refined. The next one that I encourage all women to do is wear lipstick. I've talked about in my feminine beauty video about how you want to go for a little bit darker than your natural shade. A lot of people, if you grew up when I was in high school, were into the new lip trend. And if you like that trend, okay, that's your personal style. But if you're open to trying new things, I would actually recommend that you go for a few shades darker than your natural lip color because this signals the most fertility, this signals the most youth, and it's just a good way to look more refined. On an everyday basis, I tend to wear some light foundation as well as just mascara and maybe a little bit of eyeliner. I don't overdo it with my makeup, but I always wear lipstick. This is something that I started to do after I graduated high school, even in university when I was studying so hard and even when I had unglamorous jobs like in the pizza industry. Yes, for all you out there, I did work in the pizza industry. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Putting on a lipstick is kind of just one of those ways that I find that you can feel more ladylike, you can feel more refined, and you can feel more put together. The next one I want to talk to you about is timeless hair because I have noticed the generation of younger women, I guess older women as well, all women nowadays, we tend to want to go for the trendy haircuts. The reason why it's a problem to go for trendy haircuts is because we see those haircuts on people who are much more attractive than the actual everyday person. When you're looking at beauty standards on somebody who is more attractive than the everyday person, this is unrealistic because you try to emulate them because you think you're going to be able to be like them. But this causes for the fact that you do not have timeless hair. I have stopped looking at celebrities, even other YouTubers, for reference on their hairstyles. Just because I don't know if this is going to look good on me. I have a bigger face. I have a bigger forehead. I have to look for classic hairstyles that are going 
going to shape my face. Side note, if you want a video on feminine hair, my friend Ina made a very, very good video. I'm going to link her video down below and I highly recommend it. When I watched it, I was shocked at how great of detail she put in the video. But anyway, back to what I was saying, is that adopting more classic hairstyles are kind of like foolproof because people have been doing them for years and years and years. And you can actually find out the hairstyle for your shape of face, you can find out hairstyle that are done on people who actually have more of a regular appearance. <laughs> so that's why you probably won't see me doing trendy hairstyles. I'm just going to stick with what has been tried and true over time because I think that that ultimately will help you look more refined. The next one is to reset your posture. A long time ago, when I didn't even have a good microphone, I made a video about posture and there are some things in there I really want you to look at because having good posture is something that I had actually went through training for. <laughs> I wanna give those things for free to you because I care about you. I do really care about all of you. So go check out that video to learn how to reset your posture throughout the day because it's going to help you feel more refined, put together, more confident, and therefore more feminine. And the next one I wanna to talk to you about is language. Incorporating more feminine language, but also kind of simplifying your language, not to really include so much slang as well as vulgarity, is going to, of course, help you feel more refined. And the last one I want to talk to you about kind of has to do with discretion. It kind of has to do with the fact that you don't want to overshare your life, whether that be in a simple conversation when you meet up with somebody or they haven't seen you in a while, whether that be on social media. Of course, if people dig hard enough, they're going to find a lot of things about you, but you don't want to blatantly volunteer all of that information. Keeping some discretion in your life is a good way to be more refined because it kind of privileges, priv privilege? I don't know how to say that in English. <laughs> it kind of takes the specialness away from getting to know somebody. It kind of takes that authenticity away from the relationships that you want to cultivate in real life with real people and you want to gradually reveal this type of information to them if you understand what I'm saying. This video could entirely be another topic. I would love to know some of the ways that you think or some of the ways that you practice being more refined in your everyday life down below. I would also love it if you would hit that like button so that more women can find this channel, so that more women can join our community. I really try to make a community of women who support each other and I love you all. I hope you have the best week ever. See you next time.